This week's Parsha starts off with our forefather Jacob. After he's gotten married and has raised the first 12 of his children, he's coming back to the land of Israel. And who is there waiting with an army of 400 men, some people say 400 generals, in order to destroy every last man, woman, and child in Jacob's camp? None other than his wicked, evil brother, Esau. Now how Jacob deals with this particular challenge is very insightful for us because it gives us the methodology on how Jews deal with their difficult challenges in life. So Jacob does three things. The first thing he does is, when confronted with the challenges, he prays. Now prayer is not just, I'm throwing my burden over to God. It's the recognition that there are so many things in my life that are beyond my control. And ultimately, the Almighty runs the entire world. So therefore, Jacob stops says, God, I'm going to need your help. And there's more ways than imaginable that God could help out Jacob. Maybe Asaph could die. Maybe Asaph could be distracted by another bad thing happening to his family or his business. Or maybe something good could happen to Asaph, to his family and his business, that would distract him and change his heart from wanting to hurt his brother to rather just leaving his brother alone. The second thing that Jacob does is he sends a gift to Esau. Because this is an idea of saying, if I can work things out in a peaceful way, then first always work things out in a peaceful way. So by giving over the money to, to Esau, he's hoping that Esau's heart will melt and he'll say, okay, Jacob, go ahead into the land of Israel and I'll leave you alone. See, Jacob understands what the purpose of money is. When we die, we're not taking our money with us. The reason we have money is to help our families and so that we can experience more pleasure in this world and so that we can advance the mission of the Jewish people. Jacob says, listen, if it, costs if it takes all my money to save my life and the life of my family in order to perpetuate the mission of the Jewish people, it's worth it. That's why God gave me the money in the first place. The third thing that Jacob does is he prepares for war. Because maybe, just maybe, the peaceful approach won't work. Well, there's certain things in life that we have to be ready to go to war for. And the survival of the Jewish people is one of those things. So, three steps when confronted with a difficult situation. First thing is, pray. Recognize it's not all up to me, and it's not in my control. Number two is, try and work out a peaceful solution to the problem. Number three is, on certain things, a person has got to be prepared to go to war. Go to the, and fight for the man for what's right and what's true.